Hello, and welcome to my analysis of Orson Welles' cinematic classic, Citizen Kane. More specifically, we will be taking a brief look at the famous breakfast scene. In this part of the movie, Charles Foster Kane, played by Welles himself, has just married Emily Norton, played by Ruth Warwick, the niece of the President of the United States. The scene goes on to show how the relationship changes as time passes. When the montage starts, the music is very soft and romantic, signifying to the audience that this takes place soon after their marriage. The blocking of the scene also contributes to this atmosphere, with Charles sitting very close to Emily and telling her that she's very, very beautiful. But despite the seeming utopian nature of the scene, there are hints of conflict when Emily tells Charles that she wants him to spend less time at the newspaper and more time with her. However, Charles relents and tells her that he will spend more time with her. This act of flexibility on Charles's part will be absent in all the segments to come. As the montage goes on, it becomes obvious that the once blossoming relationship is becoming strained and distant over time. It starts with Wells' acting choices, making his voice and mannerisms less loving and romantic, and more stern and unfeeling. When told that people will think poorly of him for his actions, he replies that they will only think what he wants them to think. His choice of clothing also changes, foregoing the romantic tuxes and comfy bedrooms for stiff-looking suits and ties. As Charles goes through this dramatic change, Emily remains decidedly the same for the majority of the montage. She tries to connect with her husband and get him to listen to her suggestions, but he quickly rebuffs her every single time. By the end of the montage, Charles and Emily are no longer speaking to each other at the breakfast table. Emily has become so desperate to get her husband's attention, she resorts to reading the Chronicle, the direct competitor of Charles's Inquirer, directly in front of him. But even as he looks briefly up from his own newspaper, he hardly notices. Their relationship, and all the potential it had, are but a distant memory. In order to demonstrate the passage of time between each segment, this, the camera appears to spin wildly in a circle. During each segment, all of the shots are framed in a medium close-up with cuts whenever each character speaks. They also start with a shot of Emily and end with a shot of Charles. This helps the audience notice more of the differences in the acting, blocking, and music between the segments. This scene is a brilliant way of using a montage as shorthand for character development. While the segment only lasts about two minutes, it perfectly encapsulates Charles' shift from lovable millionaire to hardened cynic in a very satisfying way. It is but one of the many reasons Citizen Kane is considered one of the greatest films of all time.